Good morning. Hi there, Kristen Schultz here with um, my quick response on the de developmental levels between arts areas. Um, this has been kind of an interesting topic that I got to tonight. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. Um, so a developmental level that I chose from Lowenfeld um, because I want to be a kindergarten teacher. Um, I specifically kind of try and focus on that as much as possible to get kind of the experience. And so um, I looked at the pre-schematic. So again, that's um, four to six years of age and there's many in the arts, there's many circular images happening and lines that seem to represent either a human or an animal at this point. Um, in their artwork, the concept of visual idea is starting to be developed. We see what the child interprets as most important by how big or small they draw a certain part in their drawing. Um, there's hardly any understanding of space quite yet and colors are used more emotionally than logically um, at this point to kind of give an idea of what this pre-schematic level is like. So keeping that in mind, um, a concurrent development, uh, I was looking at one of our other articles um, that we had as a resource, which was um, titled, I don't know, a certain space here. Um, creative dance integration lesson plans. So we're in um, with dance at this level. Um, I found a great source on here with math, especially that um, in kindergarten they're learning, you know, two dimensional and three dimensional shapes. So being able to create two and three dimensional shapes with the body, integrating it into math and also that kind of dance part in another art uh, category at this point. Um, and then another resource, um, the role of creativity I feel is very important, um, not just in the arts, but in every single content area because you can be creative in, in anything. Um, it depends on your interests and um, your ability, all of that. And so an article that I found um, called Developing Young Children's Creativity Through the Art, what does, sorry, I can't see the whole thing here. Um, what does research have to offer? That's what it was. So in this article, it's a 21 page article that has lots of great information talking about creativity, um, especially in young children and how it's defined and all of that. But one thing that stood out to me specifically was, um, it is important to consider each child's creative abilities in relation to their personal stage of development because we are each, you know, we each, um, are different. We have different things to bring. We're each developed differently, all of that. For example, a young child's work may not be considered original when judged against larger norms, but may be adaptive and original for that particular child and or in relation to children in that peer group. And especially with young kids, they are excited about what they do and um, want to show you what they do and what they are able to do. So um, it's just, as educators, we need to remember that and not lose sight of that ourselves as we, you know, get older. Um, so I feel that creativity is a huge thing in these developmental stages and integrating um, not just arts, but, you know, PE into the, into our standards and all of that. So um, I look forward to doing this even more in my future classrooms. So thanks so much. And I hope you enjoy.